What is up guys, welcome to my review for Arrow Season 6 Episode 20 titled Shifting Alliances. So, with the episode being titled Shifting Alliances, it means that a couple characters would be doing just that, and those characters are Laurel and Anatoly, and I want to talk about the Anatoly storyline first for a couple of reasons. One, it's the main storyline of the episode, and two, it was my favorite storyline of the episode as well. So this storyline, first of all, it started out with Oliver being captured pretty easily by Anatoly, which bothered me a little bit because I, I, was, I was thinking Oliver shouldn't really be able to... Uh, to be taken out that easily, but it was explained at the end with Oliver saying that he was captured on purpose to make Anatoly see that he's an honorable man and Diaz is not, which at the end obviously didn't bother me because they explained it, so that's really good as well. But um, this whole storyline of Anatoly shifting alliances, seeing that Oliver is honorable, Diaz is not, was honestly pretty great, and that fight scene as well, the fight scene was the main focus of the trailer, and obviously that makes sense because like, it's, it's the most exciting part of the episode, other than, like, the ending, which they couldn't spoil. I mean, they could have, but they didn't, gr gratefully, they didn't in the end of the episode. But, um, this fight scene was honestly really good. I, I said in my trailer breakdown that it's not a fair fight, just because Oliver would definitely beat Diaz. Now, a lot of comments said that I'm really underestimating Diaz's fighting ability, which is, um, which is Anatoly. As, as Anatoly said, that's what Caden James' fatal, fatal, uh, accident, fatal flaw was. But still... I still think that Oliver should easily, or not, maybe not easily, but definitely should beat Diaz, and they address that, because they couldn't have made um, Oliver beat Diaz in this, because then that would be the end of the season, but they couldn't have made Diaz win, be, uh, fairly at least, because he, he just can't, so the, the, the perfect way around that was for Oliver to win, but make Diaz cheat by using a knife and stabbing Oliver, because that did two things, one, it really showed Diaz's character, and uh, the three things. One, really showed Diaz's character. Two, was the perfect way to end the fight. And three, showed Anatoly that uh, Oliver's honorable, Diaz is not, and which is what made him shift alliances. So I thought this storyline was done really, basically perfectly. The, the, all the, um, all the uh, conversations between Oliver and Anatoly were really great, especially at the end when they're, when they're basically friends again. And that's probably how he's going to get out of the situation he's in right now in the next episode, or one of the ways. Well, maybe not, but um, still... This storyline was honestly pretty perfect in my opinion, and it's definitely the best storyline of the episode. Which is good, because it is the main storyline of the episode, and when the main storyline of the episode is the best part of the episode, or at least great in general, that means the episode is probably great as well, which is what this is, and that's crazy because there's been like, ever since episode 17 or 18, I think, the, no, 17, ever since it's 17 uh, Brothers in Arms when Diggle fought Oliver, Every episode has been great. That was great. The episode after Fundamentals was the best episode of the season. The Dragon was pretty great. And then this episode, Shifting Alliances, was great. At least I've been talking about it. the rest of the storylines, but at least the main storyline was great, which means the, the uh, episode in general is probably going to be a great episode. So this season, at least the end of it, is shaping up to be a pretty great season. And the end of this episode really, really showed that the next episode will be pro will probably be great as well. It looks really great, which we'll talk about at the end of this review and my trailer breakdown for the next episode, but it's pretty crazy to me how the first couple, the first like 15 episodes of the season range from, they did range from bad to great, but the last couple episodes were nothing but great, so hopefully the rest of the season is great, so the season in general could be at least good, because sure, the, the last couple episodes, if they are great, then that will definitely build, bring up the, the season, because the last couple episodes mean more than the first couple first 15 but still it can't make it a great season just because just because the first 15 episodes range from bad to great but still the last couple episodes were great which is really making me hopeful for the rest of the season but moving on to the second storyline and the second storyline is with Laurel and Quentin which is also really good as well so something that didn't really make sense to me is how how scared Laurel was of Diaz because she is way more powerful than him, and you see in the last episode that Diaz really, really counted on Laurel to take out a lot of guys, so if Laurel really wanted, she could kill Diaz pretty easily, but I, I guess they explain it around, but she's not really physically scared of him, she's just like psychologically scared of him, but this storyline in general was really great, I thought the moments between Quentin and Laurel were great moments, especially when, when Laurel, when Quentin was mentioning the events of season 4, episode 18, or the season, season 4 in general, which was stupid, the whole season was stupid, that episode was stupid, and I will stand by that to the end of time, but um, this the, the mentioning of that, the way that factored into the storyline was honestly really great, and the way Laurel shifted alliances again, because she has shifted alliances multiple times, like first in the beginning of the season, or the end of the last season she was bad, the beginning of this season she was bad, but then she turned good, and then 
and then back to bed. So it's kind of it kind of bothered me how much she switched. But it seems like they explained that by saying that throughout since since she uh, she went with Diaz, she didn't really have a choice. But um, that I didn't really like that explanation so much. So that the fact that she keeps on switching back and back still bothers me a little bit. But either way, I do like the fact that she is shifting alliances, and it was done pretty well, at least in this episode. The third storyline is the Wild Dog slash Outsider storyline, which was the weakest part of the episode. But that does not mean it was like necessarily bad. It was just it was just whatever. I didn't really care about Wild Dog's character at this point. Honestly, he was gone for a month, and I did not miss him. It's probably because Oliver, uh, Arrow has too many characters at this point, which is why they really, really, really should have killed off one or two of them in the in the season finale of season five. But maybe they can kill a couple of them off in this season. And honestly, Wild Dog, in my opinion, should be the first to go. Well, maybe not the first, maybe like the third to go after Felicity and Diggle, but still, he should be one of the first to go because I don't really care about his storyline. I don't really care about his character anymore, and he's he's honestly keeping space on Arrow that does not need to be there because there are too many characters. It's been said before the show juggles too many characters and honestly it's never been more true than this season in my opinion which could have been easily rectified by the season finale of season 5 but for some reason it wasn't which was something that really bothers me about this season but still this storyline even though like even though it was a li even though it was like Wild Dogs return to the show, even though it was, or after a month, even though it wasn't about storyline in general, I just, for some reason, I just didn't care about Wild Dogs problems. But it, at least it did give us some an awesome fight scene, an awesome big team fight scene with, uh, with Mr. Terrific putting these bombs on all the trucks and Argus, Black Canary, and Wild Dog, or not, I don't think Wild Dog was there, but, uh, Argus and Black Canary and, and Diggle helping him. That was honestly a pretty great fight scene, in my opinion. It's just a storyline of Wild Dog. I don't care about his problems. I don't care about his character at this point. And the fact that he was gone for a month and I did not miss him at all. I didn't. I barely realized he. I, I definitely realized he was gone. But that that was just because that was just because that um he was gone for a month and they needed to do that even though he's a series regular, which shows that he they definitely have too many characters. So. This storyline was just, it, it was definitely the weakest part of the episode, and I just, I don't know, I just don't care about this character anymore. And then the episode ended with a pretty awesome cliffhanger, in my opinion, of Diaz pushing up Oliver's sentence to next week, instead of, well, I don't really know when this sentence, or not a sentence, this trial is what I meant to say, is supposed to be, or was supposed to be, but Diaz pushed it up because he owns all the cops, he owns all of the, uh, all of the justice system in this city so he can do whatever he wants so he pushed it up to next week and it was a pretty awesome cliffhanger because first of all it got me really excited for the next episode just because i really want to know what happens next so if a cliffhanger does that if it makes you really want to feel like you want to know what happens next more so than, than you already did then it's a good cliffhanger in my opinion it also was a perfect way to end this episode like there was no other way just leaving oliver there in that play in that like tied up in that place would have been a pretty anti anti-climactic or unsatisfying way to end the episode but this ending this uh cliffhanger this uh diaz pushing oliver's trial up to next week was a pretty awesome cliffhanger pretty awesome way to end the episode a pretty clima climactic and satisfying way as well and you look at the, the trailer for the next episode the next episode looks to be like either a pretty awesome episode or at least a pretty intriguing episode just going up the trailer which i won't talk about here but this this cliffhanger this cliffhanger was one of the best parts of the episode along with the rest of the storyline that it was connected to in conclusion, this episode was another great episode, and this show is on a streak at this point. It's on a winning streak ever since episode 17 aired, so hopefully it continues it for the next three episodes. But the Oliver slash Diaz slash Quint uh, Anatoly storyline was definitely the best part of the episode. I loved basically everything about it. The fight scene, was the, the they ended it so perfectly, and Anatoly Shifting Alliances was done really well, and the end of the episode was pretty great in my opinion and then the laurel slash quinton side plot was also pretty great as well it's just the wild dog storyline that wasn't great it wasn't bad either it was it was okay or good it, it definitely dragged down the episode because the other two side plots the other two plots the other two storylines were great while this one was just okay or good so it's definitely the worst part of the episode but at least it did, it did give us the one, one of the best fight or a great fight scene it wasn't one of the best there were just two fight scenes in this episode i think but there it was a pretty great fight scene between the outsiders plus argus and uh diggle 
fighting all these other all, all the guys oh, i think the quadrant but either way this was a pretty great episode except for the wild dog storyline so i'll give this episode a 9.1 out of 10 but let me know what you thought about the episode in the comments down below and don't forget to like share and subscribe and follow me on twitter link is in the description for better daily updates on my videos as well as daily polls on the arrowverse or if you don't have twitter definitely click the notification icon next to the subscribe button and thanks for watching